What's up guys, my name is Lindsay Klein and you are inside the DHA Homegrown Spotlight. I am with members today from Blackwater Rising, have their fancy CD, which I'm actually mentioned in, yes? Little props to myself, yeah. Scott Evil. I have a really good history with these guys. Uh, got to host their CD release party. And Scott Evil would have been there, but he has Metal Mania. And props to Scott Evil because I found these guys through him at Metal Mania. These are Black Water Rising members. Why don't you guys introduce yourself? Um, I'm Odie and I play the bass. I'm Rob and I play the guitar and sing lead vocals. Very cool. <laughs> Blackwaterrising.com. And so, guys. I know my history with you. I've been able to do your CD release party. I have been spinning you on the Homegrown Spotlight. We've actually been spinning you now on Sunday Night School of New Rock. These guys have are a great example for people just starting out in the original music scene. They have made it. They are signed on Red. You can get their CD now. So tell us a little about your history. How did you guys form your band? What kind of music would you describe yourself for our audience? Uh, just straight up hard rock, you know, riff oriented hard rock, you know. Uh you know, big big choruses and hooks and just like power rock, you know. Not really metal, but we have metal elements, you know. Just rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's it's really heavy though. It's it's we we uh, down tune and um so, you know, and the riffs are really good. <laughs> And uh, so, so it sounds uh, a lot heavier than, than just straight rock, you know. Uh, the beats are really groovy. Mike's a great drummer, so, you know, uh, even still to this day, since the first day I went into rehearsal, I love playing, you know, just rehearsing the songs. They have a great groove, and, and uh, so it's more than just, I believe, rock. It's, it's heavier, you know. Uh, it's got that, it's really grindy, heavy, like, you know. It's, mm -hmm. it's, Listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I've Make your own decision. I've personally been playing Brother Go On. Uh, would, you, would you call that your single, I guess? Right. And, yeah, you can hear it. We play it now. It's in rotation. So you guys have come a long way. You want to tell... People just starting off, any advice? Uh, they are actually signed on Red. So tell us about your journey. Uh, well, I started writing songs for this album. I wrote about five songs for the album that are on the album now um, about three years ago now. I think yeah, was a little years. over, yeah. I have my own home recording studio, so I sat down. I started recording all these songs where I do all my writing. And uh, I called Mike up, my drummer, and he came down. He checked it out. He loved it. And uh, I wanted to have real drums on the recording, so we went in the studio and we, we laid down real drums, laid down the music, and then after we finished it up, we were like, you know, this, this is really cool. I think we got something going on here. It's definitely got a cool vibe. We should get a band together. And uh, we went out and we put the word out for another guitar player, and that's when Johnny uh, showed up. Johnny had just broken up from Stereo Mud, which was a, okay. a pretty known band. Um, and he was looking for something new to do. He came down to the studio, he heard the stuff, he really dug it, and he was always good friends with Odie, and he brought Odie down because we were looking for a bass player. And mm -hmm. Odie came down, and we were just like, wow, and just gelled. It was like okay. it was like winning the lotto, kind of like, you know, because we've all played in other bands. It's difficult yeah. to find the right people to play with. And usually when you put it out there and you meet a couple people, it usually doesn't work out. But It's like a relationship. It, it worked out, it. And, it, and it is a big deal because <laughs> to deal with other people, you got to make sure everybody gets along on some kind of level, and it just... It's cool when you meet the right people. But we got together, and the band was formed. We went out, we started playing. Uh, the CD got around, and and uh, a little bit of a buzz started building up. And the rest of the album came to be. We went to the studio, knocked it out, got it out there, and the rest, like they say, I guess is you know history. It just got on the internet. A lot of people started hearing it on MySpace. Word started to spread. Well, we were getting close to a thousand spins a day on uh, on the MySpace player back when it right. was. Legit, you know, right. now it's like, you know, this whole mess up there. Um, but, uh, you know, and things just started happening. It was strange to us because we're not doing anything that's really original sound. And, I mean, it's just hard rock, you know, it's just straight up rock. We didn't really try. I know when I sat down and wrote the songs, I wasn't trying to, you know, get that new sound to be like, you know, these new bands like Korn or, you know, all this other new stuff. I just wrote some songs I just thought were cool. And, the fact that people started taking to it showed us that we're doing something right here, you know, right. because I think people are just hungry for that just raw, straight up rock, you know. There's not a lot of that anymore. You just hear all this watered down radio stuff mm -hmm. and, and you know, and I'm not going to name any bands, but I'm sure you know right off the bat that most of those bands are. And uh, it was either that or you had the over the top, super heavy stuff that was just like, you know, everything was like watching Sesame Street because every singer sounded like the Cookie Monster, you know, yeah. it was just like, it was like enough of, you know, it was like I wanted to do something that was a little more 
like right. classic. Right. Stuff that you heard like in the late seventies or early eighties. Mm -hmm. That type of stuff. And, Would you suggest you know, doing a touring, like getting out there? Is yeah, yeah. Guys? Well, if I'm making suggestions to people yes, about yes. music, I mean... I, I would suggest if you really believe in what you're doing to get your music out there. You have the internet. It's a great tool. You don't have to worry about dealing with, with record companies. You can get your music exposed, you know, and, and usually if, if it's good, you know, the cream of the crop will rise the top. Word will spread. People will get into it. Sounds like and, a song. You know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, there's no there's nothing I can tell anybody to do. You know, if you really believe in yourself and it's a passion and it's something you really want to do, you don't care what anybody tells you, you're going to do it. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's nothing I can really tell anybody. Mm. Just get it out there. That's it, you know. Blackwater Rising, why don't you guys tell them where they can get this CD and listen to it? Uh, it's in stores throughout the United States, um, mom and pop stores. There's a couple of chains, some Best Buys. Uh, it's on the Internet, on Amazon.com. Uh, um We've been in the top 10 on Amazon uh, uh, hard rock releases, yeah. top releases, 17 weeks now. So, really? Yeah. We've been awesome. doing a lot, really good sales on Amazon, so well, we're psyched about totally that. We're totally stoked for you guys. We're very proud mm -hmm. of you. So you can be like these guys. It can happen. And, you know, we've been huge fans, Scott and I, since I obviously found you guys through him, but it's been a blast seeing you guys grow on Red. Blackwater Rising, and I happen to be playing Brother Go On. Check it out. Check out the whole CD. Blackwaterrising.com. You guys on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On you're on Facebook? That means you're in 2010. Yeah. <laughs> and they're on MySpace, so take a look.